My name is Lisanne Basquiat. I own a female-focused, gender-inclusive co-working space and business accelerator. And so what that means is that I help entrepreneurs to build, grow, scale their business while also addressing the personal development that they need in order to be strong and effective leaders of the companies that they founded. I went into corporate uh, and I went, I worked within financial services and I worked on organizational change management projects and business transformation projects, which basically involve seeing some, taking something that is a little messy and a little uh, complex and complicated in its system and helping a group of people to understand what it was, a, a group of business leaders to understand where they actually wanted to go, and then helping to ensure that we got rid of the things that were in the way, cleaned things up, and that we um, uh, made whatever, whatever changes we needed to make in order to reach their business goals. But it always started with a goal. The formula that you enact to get to the things that you want really stayed with me and stayed true in all areas of my life. In 2000, by 2008, I had built a career. I was a corporate executive and I've always been a very creative person. I've always been a very spiritually connected. And so I kind of wore those two hats in parallel for a while where I would, you know, do the corporate thing and work in financial services and be in that guy environment of like, you know, do better, do better than the next person, get the next thing, accomplishment, accomplishment. Uh, and there was a duality to it because on the other side, I was also very deeply spiritually connected. And I also understood that we are human beings that step into these roles and play them out. I had this moment, I was talking to a couple of people on an instant chat, also involved in a, a meeting that was happening on like, you know, some video conference thing. And I started to have the stirring, something was going on. And I don't even know what the thing was, but there was something within me that I really needed to, yes, I was really busy, I had a lot going on, you know, uh, I was a very busy mom and, and uh, executive, but in all of that busyness, had a friend called me to ask, for something or to tell me that she or he was on a cliff, I would have dropped everything or I would have found a way to respond to that person. And uh, I didn't in that moment. And when I say stopped, I don't mean like, I didn't go like to a mountain someplace, you know, to have a retreat for six months. I was expending this life energy that I have. And also to pay attention to the relationship that I was in with myself because the relationship with myself and the relationship that you're in with yourself is the longest love affair that you will ever be in in your life. There is an allure to doing, to kind of running with the pack and uh, getting up and working every day and back-to-back -back meetings and, uh, and, com and having people that you can vent with about your life and about the challenges that you're experiencing in life. I completely understand and get that. And there's another way to live. So as I began to look within myself, I started to realize, I started to think about how I could actually help because that's really what the stirring was for me. It was clean up your own stuff so that you can truly live your purpose. The emotional legacy that we are relieving, bequesting, to the children that we have and the families that we're part of.